Hey, hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another speed build. So, if you're watching this video, you might have noticed that I haven't uploaded anything this previous week because it is Sunday. It should be Sunday that you're seeing this. And I haven't uploaded anything. And if you follow me on Twitter, you know why. If not, maybe you just didn't even notice, don't even care. <laughs> but I had posted that I was going to be taking, you know, a break this week because just like a lot of stress and I just wasn't myself. And you could really tell in my voiceovers and in my let's plays, I just was not myself. Something was really off. And it was just awful. So, you know, thankfully I ended this week at the beach, which was much needed for me. So I was like, definitely going to, you know, build, you know, even though I'm not recording, I want to build, you know, it's sometimes therapeutic. It can be sometimes, <laughs> but anyways, I was really excited about this build because since I am going to the beach, I was inspired to build a beach house. And let me just say real quick that for seasons, I have high expectations. I expect a beach world, you hear? A beach world. And it's going to be beautiful. It's going to have the aesthetic to where I can place this house. Because building this house, yes, it's really cute. It's great. But it's just, there's not a lot of, like, options to place this house. Like, you can, you know, build this beach house on this Windenburg Island. Or maybe in Brendleton Bay. But it still does not match the aesthetic that I was going for. Like, a coastal beach house, you know? But anyways, I imagine this house being more of a, you know, vacation home, I guess you would say. Um, you might, you know, see how I furnished it. Maybe you'll catch that vibe. I tried to, like, put suitcases um, in every room, so that was kind of obvious. Uh, it's got four bedrooms. One, two, yeah, four bedrooms. And it can sleep a lot of Sims. So, I mean, just imagine this being a beach house. Your Sims can live here if they want. Definitely hope some of y'all use this if we get... A beach house in the near future with seasons. Fingers crossed that's coming our way. Anyways, I am like very familiar with these type of houses. Because I live like an hour away from the beach. The Gulf of Mexico. And I've stayed in a lot of beach houses. So it was pretty easy for me to get in there. And you know, go for that coastal aesthetic. Because I've seen it so much. But yeah, I really, really like this house. I hope you guys like it as well. Um, I'm not going to talk about the build the whole time. I just can. I feel awkward because I don't really know, know what to say. <laughs> but anyways, I just figured that for my speed builds, I would do like some story times and like Q&As and stuff like that just to get to know me. So, hope y'all don't mind. But for this video, we're going to be doing a little story time and we're going to reminisce. Are y'all going to reminisce with me on my spring break stories? Because I feel like I'm going to spring break again. Even if it's for two days, I don't give a crap. I haven't been to the beach in forever. I haven't had a vacation with my friends, like my best friends, my core girls from high school since high school, since senior year. So like five years ago, that's crazy. It's been such a long time and I'm so excited. One of them is actually getting married in June. So it's her bachelorette party. So we're very excited about it. But yeah, I just decided, you know what? It'd be fun to talk about, you know, spring break. So, let's just dive right in. Let's dive in, okay? Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start with freshman year. Because that's where, you know, my spring break stories begin. Because when I was in, like, an elementary and middle school, I didn't have, like, older siblings. And, like, my parents never, like, took me and my brother to the beach. We just kind of, like, stayed at home. And, you know, spring break's really not that important when, you know, you're in elementary school. Because, you know, you just hang out in the neighborhood and ride bikes with the kids. And it was a great old time. You didn't have school. But in high school, you know, you had expectations. You were going to the beach. You were going to have a good time. And you were going to turn up. <laughs> so, anyways, ninth grade, spring break was my first, like, experience. I was very excited about it. I stayed with one of my friends from high school. Her friend that went to another school. And the girl's mom and her little sister. And keep in mind that... I live in like this really big county and there's this one beach everybody goes to it every year there's so many different public schools so many different kids teenagers all at spring break at the same time on this beach and there was this one condo it was the cool condo if you didn't stay in this condo you wasn't cool so we were like yeah 
I turn up? Cool. Even though we were so innocent and didn't drink or anything, we just felt, like, so special that we actually got a room here. Um, like, nothing really happened. Scandalous happened. Ninth grade year. But there was this guy that I was talking to at the time, like, once we got there and everything. And we were sitting in the hot tub one night, and his fingers, like, started creeping, like, up my leg. Like, a little up north, y'all know what I'm saying? And I was, like, innocent. So I kind of, like, shot him down and was like, uh, no. Like, pushed his hand away like making it very obvious like do not touch me there this is my no-no square <laughs> but anyways um i guess that pissed him off and my friend that i was staying with was sitting on the other side of him so apparently like he tried it with her and she hopped on it and i guess she let him and next thing we know like they was getting up and like i just dropped my mic i always drop my mic sorry <laughs> anyways next thing we know they were getting up and walking outside towards the beach we was like um you know what happened well they was like what happened like where are they going but i knew where they were going because he just tried it on me uh it was kind of pissed about that because she was supposed to be my friend but whatever um and then what else happened ninth grade um and then i think a little bit later there's this guy i know this makes me like a hoe because i'm like oh that guy now this guy but i had always like been attracted to him and so we were all like hanging out and like the girls and guys kind of like split up like boy girl boy girl if that makes sense and just kind of like split up it was so stupid like full intentions of like kissing or making out or you know doing something crazy you know spring break <laughs> and so me and this guy went out to like the beach or whatever and we kissed and it was like very awkward it was so awkward not what I thought it would be at all very just like no chemistry awkward and so we was just like oh you want to go back inside so we went back inside and like I mean nothing really happened after that um, we did go to these arcades and got these little henna tattoos I got like his initials on my hip bone and then he got mine on his butt cheek like just silly stupid stuff and his ex-girlfriend found out about it and was like pretty pissed about it <laughs> and she was like texting me and yeah <laughs> but that's pretty much it for ninth grade nothing crazy 10th grade still pretty innocent in 10th grade we stayed with that same friend her mom and then two of my other really good friends from high school um we all stayed at the same condo the cool condo <laughs> and you know like i said still innocent but the friend from you know previous year you know we, we know she was a little wild <laughs> but anyway she was starting to hang out with like the older kids and so one night she didn't even invite us she was just like hey actually we were supposed to be going to the tracks you know she was like, actually y'all gonna drop me off at this party and that's where i'm going so we were low-key like whatever pissed because you know we wasn't invited and i guess she thought she was too cool for us <laughs> so we were like whatever okay well we're your friend we got your back we're just gonna go to the tracks so we went to the tracks hung out with some more friends from high school and then there was this guy that i was talking to and then my best friend that was with me was talking to his best friend and so we was going to go meet them at the ice cream shop and just hang out that was it and so we went to mcdonald's first we were hungry and then walked over to the ice cream shop we were sitting there you know having a good time you know just innocent just talking just having a good time next thing we know our phones are blowing up and it's this girl's mom and she's like y'all better get back to this condo right now or i'm calling y'all's mom we're packing up and we're going home y'all lied to me i drove by y'all's car is not at the tracks and y'all left uh, I about said her name. Y'all left Allie. <laughs> We're gonna call her Allie. We y'all left Allie, and um, whatever. So we was like, what the crap? Like what? So we just okay, whatever. So we like obviously had to go pick up our friend that was at this party because she was supposed to be with us and so we pick her up and we're like what the hell is going on and she's like well my mom called me and i couldn't tell her i was at a party so i just told her i was at the tracks and that y'all left me to go meet the guys and i was like okay so your mom's pissed at us because we left you by yourself to go hang out with guys when in reality you're drunk out of your mind right now we was just having ice cream you know <laughs> It was so, I was so pissed. But anyways, like, we got back to the condo, and her mom's there, and she's, like, hollering at us and mad at us. And meanwhile, her daughter is over there, like, trying to sober up with her breath mint in her mouth. And just shaking her heads at us, like, please don't tell me, please don't tell me. And, I don't know, like, it was just kind of, like, miserable after that, because there's so much tension. Because, you know, she just... That was just rude. <laughs> so, yeah. 10th grade was kind of like a drag. Kind of pissed me off. Like, 
we couldn't really do anything after that because you know she had texted our moms and told our moms that they needed to control us that we were out of control we left her daughter to go hang out with guys which is very dangerous and we she even told our moms that we were dressed like girls from jersey shore which we we was not at all <laughs> And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for 10th grade. Uh, 11th grade is where, you know, I feel like my friend group, we started to rebel a little bit more. We started to drink. We were driving, getting a little bit older, felt more cool. So we were, like, going to parties and drinking and stuff like that, like smoking weed and all that, like, cool high school stuff, you know, stupid. Like, I'm not encouraging that, by the way. Like, you do you, do what you want to do. I'm just telling my stories, but anyways um so we ended up staying with another friend's mom who was really cool and um some more girls and all their boyfriends is like in the room next to us and uh, we didn't even stay with the same girl we actually ended up like not even really continuing that friendship after that terrible spring break but that's besides the point anyways it was a really chill really chill really laid back <laughs> that didn't make any sense like a really laid back spring break um all of our friends were like in relationships except me and my best friend and so every night they were wanting to play like these stupid like couple drinking games and uh all this like sexual stuff and they would get mad at me and my best friend because we was like you know no we're gonna go out like we're we're not in a relationship and we're not gay for each other like we're not making out with each other to play these games with you like no i mean why are you mad at us you know it was stupid <laughs> but anyway so they would like stay and do all their coupley stuff and then me and my best friend we would just like like, you know go and like party hop go to all these houses but like we would go and just really our only intention of going to these parties was to get alcohol because we didn't have like fake IDs at the time or anything um so we just knew a bunch of people a bunch of guys so we would just go over and hang out with them ha, 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 like flirt with them and then like get their alcohol like we wouldn't steal their alcohol we would just like get them to give it to us you know just like flirt with them and they're wasted like oh yeah here, here's a whole full bottle of vodka and we just like take it and dip so we have like this stash of alcohol and like every night pretty much we would just go out to the beach just me and her and talk and like cry and like girl talk and bonding um had had a good time me and her it was just two peas in a pod we had a great time um i do remember uh getting naked on the beach and running around <laughs> i don't know why i just remember waking up naked in the bed like with sand everywhere and apparently our friends took a video of us they seen us out on the beach and was us running around naked which is embarrassing but like that was as crazy as it got one night also went to a luke bryan concert and he touched my hand it was magical but yeah, that was pretty much it for junior year. So on to senior year. Hope y'all are keeping up. Senior year obviously is like senior year. We're the cool dogs. Like we're the top dogs. And we felt really cool. And we were like rebels. You know, we didn't even have a parent with us senior year. We had a house to ourselves. And like one of the first nights that we got there, keep in mind, like I said, this was, you know, pretty big like spring break scene. Lots of people lots of schools lots of people and so we was like yeah we're gonna have a party like everybody had parties it was like yeah we're gonna have a party not thinking that anybody was really gonna come to our party but everybody showed up so many people like from all these different schools people just like crumbing in and they all came at the same time like it was insane and so we were like oh yeah okay yeah whoa people are coming to our party you know we're, we're getting pumped we're feeling good we're feeling popular and then my friend texts me, she's on her way, and she's like, hey, Carissa, I'm just letting you know that cop just put on y'all's road. I think y'all are busted. You might want to, like, tell people they need to get out of there, get rid of the alcohol. So I remember being like, hey, y'all, the cops are coming. You know, we got we got to get out of here. I need to go. Cops are coming. And they were like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, turn up. Shot, 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 shot. I'm like, no, seriously, the cops are coming. And then they seen those blue lights. And they, like, hightailed it out of there. Like, everybody ran out the back door. It was like a mob. They were, like, jumping off the balconies and just running. There were so many freaking people there. So that party lasted a good two minutes. And obviously we was all underage but the cops started saying okay if you're under the age of 18 for whatever reason you know step outside and I was under the age of 18 but I was like well um I'm just gonna stay because it's like my 
it's my beach house, you know, my friends, I'm not going to leave. Um, and we realized that they were, like, calling the parents of, like, the people under age of 18 for whatever reason. Stupid, I don't know. And so I didn't really care they were going to call my mom. My mom wouldn't really care, but my friend was, like, freaking out and was like, will you please leave with me? So as soon as the cops, like, took the girls out, we ran off the back door. And <laughs> we were, like, running down the street and <laughs> where everybody had, like, ran. Like, <laughs> there were people everywhere, like, hiding, <laughs> hiding in bushes. Like, yo, Chris, up over here. It was so funny. But yeah, we felt really cool because we had a party that a lot of people came to. It just, it got busted and the cops ended up, like, pouring all of our alcohol out. And that was, that sucked because that was a lot of money worth of alcohol gone. <laughs> but, like, we didn't get in trouble. Nobody got arrested or anything. So it was cool. But anyways, um, what else happened senior year spring break? Um, there was a college party we had gotten invited to. We went to it. We pretended like we were in college. We were so dumb. <laughs> and, like, it was just, like, really ratchet. It was ratchet. And there was people from way up north. And all the girls were, like, twerking in the living room. And the guys were, like, super creepy. And I just got very bad vibes from them. <laughs> um, so... Next thing I know, one of my friends is, like, twerking in the living room, and she can't twerk. She's drunk out of her mind. She looks like a freaking chicken with her head cut off, like, doing the chicken dance or something. I don't know. It was, like, terrible. Everybody was like, get this girl out of here. It was so embarrassing. So, we, like, had to get her home. She couldn't even walk. What else happened senior year? Oh, my God. Okay. They'd be so pissed if they knew I was, like, telling this online, but I'm not saying names. It doesn't matter. One night, I was, like, really, really drunk. <laughs> we had played, like flip cup and stuff and like I kept spilling all the drinks and my friend was like my best my best friend was like somebody put her to bed I guess I was getting on her nerves because <laughs> I was being a sloppy drunk but anyways I ended up like going to bed early because I really was like a little bit too far gone and so anyways I'm like laying in the bed and I wake up in the middle of the night and my friend and her boyfriend were on a blow-up mattress in the same room with me on the floor and I woke up because <laughs> My bed was, like, my bed frame, like, the headboard was, like, hitting the wall, you know? And I'm, I wake up, and I, I hear the beds, the air mattress squeaking, and the headboards are rocking, and I'm like, oh, sh oh, what the fuck? Like, they are, they are, ha they are, they are getting it on, on the floor in the same room with me. I'm laying here, like, they think I'm just too drunk and, like, asleep. So, I felt so uncomfortable, so freaking awkward. I didn't want to, like, call them out. Because th that would have been awkward for me. Because, like, catching them in the act, I didn't want to look. I didn't want to look. So, I just kind of like, uh, uh, you know, like, uh, I'm awake. <laughs> kind of, like, move around. And they would stop. And then they would wait. And then, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> God, it was awful. It was so uncomfortable. And I remember the next morning, I called her out on it. And she denied it. I was like, no, he wasn't. And I was like, yes, you were. Just admit it. It's not a big deal. But she got, like, butt hurt over it. She got mad and went home. But... <laughs> Yeah, that was it for high school spring break. Freshman year, college, you know, when it wasn't anything special. It was fun. No crazy stories. But anyways, I just felt like sharing because this is pretty much like my spring break again. Not really, but you know, it's my girl's we're gonna make some memories so i felt like sharing so i hope you guys enjoy this video is wrapping up here are the pictures and this house will be available for download on the gallery if you want it give it a big thumbs up comment down below if you liked any of my stories if you can uh, relate to any of those or you know comment on the house if you like it whatever <laughs> anyways guys i'm out see ya Talking to myself now and then I'll try to laugh, but I'll cry a bit as well. I was never.